we need to get something out Would of this game. Would you back the Raiders this week to beat either Brisbane or the Tigers? It'd be a toss of a coin yeah. at, at the best. Uh, not the probably. Ti- not. I'd be, I'd be I'd more. Tip, I'd tip I'll, the Tigers, but I'd, I'd, I'd probably tip the Tigers. I'm, I'm unsure about. Um, anyway, just an interesting question. Uh, three, two, one's here. What are you going, Teddy, Manu, Tupanua? Or are you going Manu, Manu. Tupanua, Teddy? Yep. Tupanua. And one to Teddy. Very good. Super Sunday saw the Sharks 38 put the cleaners through the Titans 10. See you later, Ollie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I asked this for a game. I was oh, actually quite gentle oh, with him, too. I didn't give him too much crap. No, no, do you want to know why? Because I always give it to myself <laughs> first. Even when the Titans beat the Tigers the whole game, I'm like, the Tigers are going to come back here. I don't give people the opportunity to give me shit because I give it to myself. <laughs> okay, this was full strength Gold Coast Titans. Yeah, in and players playing in the right much. position. And they put. And in the order we wanted them in, and one bloke stepped up for you, and everyone else. It was the worst performance of the year. Was the, for, for the Titans, their worst yeah. performance of the year, considering. Well, I'll, I'll give you my stats, but the one, yeah. the one person that counted, Fort Awaker, 22, 223 metres, one line break, three tackle busts, 41 tackles, and I think there was a try assist in there somewhere. He was the one man team here, and the other two hypes. We didn't see that. Tino arguably, Tino a little bit. arguably lost the game for the Titans early on because when he gave he got Sinbin and gave away that penalty ten minute ten meters out from the line, that's when Cronulla had the momentum and they yeah. just did not drop off at all. But um, it was yeah. very very average and honestly, yeah. there's no, was, I, I can't can't take any effort. Big ins for the Sharks to be honest. Like the guys that came in were so much better than the guys that went out that's this true. week. Um, yeah, Sharks 38, Titans 10. Six tries to two. Six out of six conversions for the Sharks. One out of two for the Titans. And one out of one penalty goals for the Sharks. 83% completion played 75%. 34 out of 41 sets played 27 out of 36. 11 line breaks to six. 49 tackle busts for the Sharks. 50 by the Titans. 10 offloads to 11. One force dropout by the Sharks. Two by the Titans. 272 tackles played 332. Two ruck infringements to five. One inside the 10 for the Sharks, none for the Titans. Seven penalties conceded by the Sharks, five by the Titans. Eight errors to 11. Two sin bins for both teams. Braley with 31 tackles. Rain with 42. Ramian with 178 metres. And Fodder Waker with 223. Nakora missed seven tackles. Rudolph and Chambers missed five. Fogarty missed six. And Boyd and Herbert both missed five tackles. Ramian with 124 supercoach points. Mulatano with 97. Moylan with 89, and then Fodder Waker with 84. First try in the first three minutes. I'm like, oh, no, here we go again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just, just, Kelly strolls over off a nice little move down the left-hand side for the for the Titans. And then, yeah, I was actually a little bit worried there. But um, as soon as the Sharks got their first try, they started to look good. Um, was playing pretty up-tempo footy and, and expansive footy, as I had hoped they would. I'd, I was hoping they'd stay away from the middle a little bit and actually try to take on the Titans and the edges. Um, Moylan looked like a beast. <laughs> <laughs> the Titans yeah. made him look like a beast. Okay. Oh, no, come on, there's a couple. The here, highlight like that. of that game was no, Moylan's yeah. two breaks. The more, where he, no, got the, to, he got 20 still, metres upfield just to lay down, you know? It's all right. I don't need to go any further. It's all right. The Moylan, the first and one. And we called it, we called it Tim, oh, no, Tim, the first one I was real happy with was Moylan's intercept pass where he passed it two metres forward straight to fucking Brian Kelly. That's gone. On the line when he could have put a back row or a centre over, oh. like, easily. <laughs> and then the Chambers sin bin, like, off the next tackle, which is... <laughs> yeah, oh, that, wow. that couple of minutes of play there was brilliant for the Sharks. Yeah. <laughs> but Moylan, yeah, when he got run down by... And we called it as soon as he called it. Uh, Wallace is going uh, to catch him here. <laughs> Wallace is going to catch him here. And then we had the whole table cheering Wallace. And then he just lay down and said, all right, you can catch me. The Sharks managed to score a try with Chambers in the bin. And then they actually got another one with Nakora in the bin, which is, you know, there's mm. something to be pretty happy about when you can score with a player down. Um, yep. The Titans just sort of didn't give a kick after that first try. Um, as we mentioned, Moylan's break and he got run down by Jared Wallace. No, he, no, no, no. He did not get run down by Jared Wallace. He just lay down. Just he lay said, down. Oh, yeah. 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 If he kept running, yeah. he would have scored. Like, we had yeah. a massive laugh. We all fucking laughed our hearts <laughs> off when that happened. It was the moment of the afternoon. <laughs> the, um, the forwards matched up okay. Um, 
Titans probably had the edge in the forwards, to be honest, over the Sharks. Um, but they did well enough to Which, hold their own. How bad does that read for their, the Titans back? Yeah, line, but the honestly. Titans backs with just errors and missed tackles were the difference in this game. Um, Johnson actually gave the Sharks some good shape, which Ramian and Moylan were able to play off the back of. Um, and Mulatano was really good on his return as well, which um, obviously is the reason he was first picked at the start of the year. And coming back from injury is a good sign for the Sharks. I had Ramian with three points, Fodawaka with two, and then it was tossed up with Mulatano or Sean Johnson for the one. But uh, I thought you underplayed. I, I had. Do you have anything to add uh, about your team? About my team, uh, well, uh, what I'll say is this: they are very damn lucky that there are some absolute fucking shitters in that <laughs> bottom eight because right now the only team that I think could is possibly up there in terms of knocking them out of the top eight at the end of the season are the Cowboys. And at the moment, you would tip the Cowboys to make the eight, although I've still got the Titans managing to scrape into eighth purely because we're only halfway through the year and I, there could be a period where they do play well and the Cowboys drop off again. But, I mean, like, who, who else is there? Everyone else is just terrible. The Titans Apart are terrible. The yeah, but, I, but, no, but, well, for but, me, the Warriors finished seventh. Yeah. But like, now I, yeah. I'm at the point now where I have to consider the Titans terrible. No, they, like they're, they now are. In that yeah, they're, they're, they're not going to make it because other teams are worse. They are one of the worst teams. Yeah, now. exactly. But like the only other team that's looking better right now are the Cowboys. And we know how shit the Cowboys were at the start of the year. So honestly, whoever finishes eighth is not going to deserve to be there. Like, and you've got Melbourne, Roosters, Manly, Canberra, Para coming up in the next six weeks. Which game are you going to win? Canberra. Canberra. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> like, maybe. maybe. Uh, by then, Canberra. Then you, you, you got a pretty good run. you got Melbourne twice before the end of the year. The rest of the run's pretty good. Um, uh, yeah, I can't say much more. I had Mo for three just because it's Mo and he was amazing. But um, Multano three is fine. Is that what you said? Multano? No, I said Ramian. Ramian three. I thought he was destructive. Mo two. Oh, and I had Kennedy or Moylan or um, the other one you just said that I've just forgotten. Johnson. Or Johnson. So who do you... If you Ramian two, Mo... Uh, sorry, Ramian three, Mo two, and I had Mulatano or Sean I, Johnson. I really liked what one. I saw from Mul well, I'm Mulatano, having a Mulatano on return. One. On return. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go Ra I, Ra Ramian three? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I had Mo three because he was amazing. I didn't have to mention no, that. I'll give him Mo three. Give Mo Ramian two. I'm not arguing. I'm no, 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 no. Mo did a lot more hard work than Ramian no, did. Mo three. Ramian was really good. With Ramian two. Him. Mo, he's 21. In, and I know I might have a slight crush on him. <laughs> but um, they don't hide it well. But honestly, he um, will be in the conversation of best prop in the game in the next 18 months. Well, if he's not already. Probably uh, is already. Luckily, they've locked him down until like at least the end of 2023. He's 21. And, and they did that a couple of years and ago. And I still, he mustn't have been well if he's playing off the bench. I've been on his bandwagon for a good 12 yeah, months. We flagged him, we, you flagged him Fuck before I did. Kid, man. Yeah. He's a real good You kid. flagged him before I did. He's just um, such a big body. He's hard to stop. Um, he does for work. Well, he's got an offload. He's got a long pass. You he never see it. him have a bad game where he just goes missing. Like it's well, either he's just, his hands are bad, yeah. or he just he just powers on all fucking yeah. day. Whenever he's on the yeah. field, he's just powering okay. through. The Even middle. in 2019, where the Titans had arguably the worst season in NRL era history. Yeah. It was Arrow and him. That yeah, was and when, yeah, when Arrow was out, yeah. he, he stepped up. Yeah, no, you definitely flagged him before me, but. The last two weeks, I've just been so impressed. Um, oh, he's just yeah, he's pushing right up the fucking top in the last three or four yeah, weeks. Uh, prob he's probably just, helps oh. that he's the only one doing anything. True, not to take away from him, but we're noticing him more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, what happened to Feeder? Did you? Did anyone? Notice for Fida, like I know he had 16 tackle busts, well, but one had, of them like, was in one move. Well, where he had two the same bloke off four times. He had one really, <laughs> yeah, and I called the time. Really really got 91, and I yeah. yeah. Sorry, gone. He had one really good run in the first half and one really good run in the second half, and that was it. They would have given him six tackle busts both times, probably. So there's yeah, probably but it would have been close to six or eight in that one movement Which where he ran yeah. around in circles, made about three metres, and fucking <laughs> and no one off eight and, just, and then just laid out. Doing it. 